Hey guys, how's it going? Desavai here, and could Paper Mario, the Origami King, be the one to redeem the game? Let's discuss about this. Alright, so on my previous video, I discussed about uh, the Paper Mario Origami King, the Origami King trailer. Like, I gave you guys my thoughts, I gave you my analysis, I gave you guys, like, what I liked about it and what I disliked about it. Uh, I gave you on possible gameplay mechanics as well and what I think could be a possibility, you know, to return to the game. And now I'm going to be talking about, like, why I think that this Paper Mario could redeem or bring back the franchise to the way you know we like things to be now i've been doing a lot of research about you know the origami king and reading about what people think about the trailer and stuff i also have been reading about like i i also watch like a bunch of youtube videos on like people reacting to the trailer and stuff and the way i see it or like at least the videos that i've come across by is that a lot of people are skeptical about the origami king like they 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 think the their initial reaction is like oh it's not the same it's like it's not we're not going back to the originals it's not the same that scares me this battle system is like eh. it's like what is the wheel system and it's like people people are scared man like they're so scared of the origami king like being another sticker star or like color color splash like fiasco and like i get that For, uh, like this is coming from a guy who loves the game right i love the game so much like like i've mentioned like paper mario the thousand year door is like my favorite game of all time right i get where where the guys are coming from we're in we're in you guys are scared to see another sticker sticker star or like color splash you know game like no one wants to see that all right, I, I, I absolutely get it, but I feel that I feel that we need to be a little bit more positive about like going into this new Paper Mario game. All right, and I'm gonna be discussing why that I think that this game has like the potential to be the one. All right, just like the title in this video, could it be the one? I'm gonna tell you why I think it could be the one. But like, we need to get we need to dive more into this and why I think that is. Alright, so I'm here at the, uh, Nintendo, like, website, or, like, the, uh, the, the, the website for the game. And you can already see its price is going to be $60. Like, for $60, like, I'm hoping, like, I'm hoping it, it, like, fucking lives up to the name of Paper Mario, you know? I'm gonna be, we're gonna be spending, like, a lot of money for this game. Like, it's a ba the, triple A price, essentially, is what it is. So, hopefully, like that price you know justifies the game that we are about to get and it's coming out july 17th so i'm super hyped about that one um so in in if, if you go like uh to the bottom of the nintendo page here you're gonna you're gonna get a link to the official you know game site and we're here at the official game site uh it basically gives us like the story uh of of of, of, of the plot here so we have to try to free Princess Peach's castle from the clutches of King Ollie in this comedy-filled adventure only on the Nintendo Switch system. Now, if you guys take a look, all right, in this top box over here. So it says a new paper crafted Mario adventure unfolds onto Nintendo's on Nintendo Switch. The kingdom has been ravaged by an origami menace. Join Mario and his new character Olivia as they team up with unlikely allies like Bowser and the Toads to battle evil folded soldiers. Now, I can't confirm as of the moment, but that to me, you guys, like that line over here, or this box right here, it's like, it, it's just hinting that partners are coming back. Like, I, I haven't seen any confirmation like that partners are gonna be back in the game. But, like, this is a pretty good, like, I don't know. Like, it's a pretty good hint. They're, like, hinting that partners are coming back. And, like, you can see over here. Like, look, there's a bob -omb right here. There's, 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 like, a magic cooper right there. And, like, 
and 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 if you look at the like if you look at the, the like the cover itself like what what are they trying to pull off here like look at the, these guys on the left side here like if that isn't partners you guys i don't know my heart can't take this i just want to know like are they back like, is there a site like that, like I'm missing, that indicates and confirms that partners are back? If it is, like, this is definitely, like, an aspect, like, we're, we're heading in the right direction if, like, they bring back partners. Like, it doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be the same as the Thousand Year Door. Because I see a lot of people complain about, like, the partners being generic. Like they're saying, like, oh, it's just a regular bob bomb. It's a regular shy guy. It's a regular, you know, Koopa Troopa. But hear me out. The fact that Nintendo is bringing back the partner, or they had the partners, is like a step in the right direction. Like we're heading back to the classic Paper Mario's. Like it's a step in the right direction. And people, people are upset. Like about the partner system being like, oh, they're so generic or like, you know, the hints at least of the partner of the partner system, like being so generic, like ge they're gen generic, you know, characters. But you guys need to see the light at the end of the tunnel. It is important or like it's a big deal just solely by the fact that they are bringing back the partner system. I don't care if. Well, okay, it would be cool if the if, if the partners did have some personality, but just the mere fact that they're bringing it back, like we're there, we're like we're heading on the right track for this Paper Mario game to coming back to how it used to be, honestly. And down here, uh, we could see uh, some of the mechanics of the gameplay over here. All right, new battles. Uh, new abilities and new battles. Use the 1000 fold arms ability to extend your arms to interact with the environment and solve puzzles. In battle, line up scattered em enemies and plan your attack to maximize damage with new ring, ba ring based battle system that requires both puzzle solving skills and quick wit. Alright. So let's talk about, let's talk about these two mechanics like this uh, whole stretchy arm thing and the uh, the the ring battle mechanic all right and i'll give you my thoughts on like uh, what, what 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 the mechanics actually are or, or what what i think at least they are all right so let's uh let's take a look at the some of the images here all right so mario has this new ability wherein he can like can i get a better picture of this like can i widen this or something never mind so anyway, th this is this is a better picture. Mario essentially has the power or ability to like fold his arms or like stretch his arms wide, like you know, to reach certain areas or something. I, I guess it's like a new ability he has. Um, and people have mixed emotions about this. Like, oh, I'm not too sure about the new ability arm. You know, I I it I, it's not. It's not like the originals or like it, it seems like another sticker star gimmick or whatever But here's what I think about the extendable arms thing because you can see here in this picture that Mario is standing on top of like a symbol or a platform kind of thing Do you guys remember the thousand year door on how we sh shape shifted into origami's lol and we're here the origami king we shape shifted into origami Figures like we shape shifted into boats, we shape shifted into uh, paper airplanes as well. When we stand on top of a symbol, now the new extendable arm thing could be the same thing. Like it's just a mere tool to solve puzzles, and like this could be a throwback to the originals, like 2000 Year Door. Like you stand on the symbol, you get extendable arms. Use it to basically solve puzzles. It was essentially like it's it's like you know It's similar to like the the when when you transform to a paper boat or a paper airplane in thousand year door That could be a callback to it Now the think about that you guys like honestly It it might these extendable arms might not be a bad thing. So I'm I'm really curious 
to how it's going to be used in the game because to me the way I see it it's kind of just like mimicking like the, the the curses in the thousand year door so I hope I really hope that's the case honestly and then next we have the battle system everyone is this is this is everyone's main concern about the game right like Paper Mario like throughout all the Paper Mario games like everyone enjoyed the battle system of the originals and then questioned everything after right including yes Super Paper Mario sticker stars and like uh, and and then uh, what's the other one uh, color color splash right everyone was pissed off at the battle system of the of the next three games like they didn't enjoy it as much let's take let's take let's take a watch here um on the battle system of this new game all right i'm gonna be making this full screen for you guys and we're just gonna watch the entire like clip okay we're gonna watch the entire clip here i'm sorry that it's blurry Okay, so let's let's go back to that like for a second here. So the wheel system, essentially, you just line up your enemies, and then right after you line them up, we move into battle right away. Now, why is it blurry? Okay, I'm not gonna bother like figuring figuring out why it's blurry and stuff and how to fix this. But the images suffice. The images here suffice. And where 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 was it? Okay, here here we are. So if you take a look at the, the, the well this this screen sh this like uh, thumbnail of the video, like you can see right off the bat, there's no stickers. There's no. There's no cards being held up. We get a screen that actually says weapons and items. Now, it's unclear at this point in time if, if this if these weapons are like permanent or are they things that you pick up after battle or you find items similar to cards. We're we're not sure how this works just yet. But the fact that I am seeing boots, the fact that I am seeing hammer, is a good thing. Because what if, you guys, what if these things are permanently in your system? What if they are permanently within yourself to use? And what if you had the ability to add more weapons permanently, similar to badges? Not exactly like badges. But similar to badges, where in you could buy certain abilities, you can buy certain weapons that you can use. To me, that's a very awesome concept to what this game can be. It's like a very good potential to what this game could possibly be. Now, I'm hoping that's the case, but like, we don't know right now. For all we know, these boots and hammer you know weapons could be consumables like you need to find them you need to pick them up and that's gonna ruin it for me to be honest but as of now I'm gonna keep an open mind about it and I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm gonna say it right now these hopefully these things are permanent and we will be able to like choose freely what we can use so now let's let's uh, let's get into this ring system like uh, more in depth yeah so, it seems like, okay, the way I see it, the ring system comes before the actual, like, battle phase or select your attack. Now, what I'm thinking the ring system actually is, is that the ring system is a phase, you know, a part of your turn. It's essentially, okay, it's essentially part of your turn. It's, it's, it's like, it's like your initial phase, right? You have to line up your enemies, because the way I see it, Mario attacks in a straight line. Right? Mario attacks in a straight line. Doesn't matter if it's the jump or hammer attack. When he attacks, it's gonna hit a full row. And the ring mechanic is gonna be used to line them up so that you could kill them in one blow or some shit. I don't know. That's my guess it is. 
is what it is. And if that's the case, I'm all for it. So when you how it how I think it's going to potentially work is that so when you get into a fight, your enemies are going to be scattered across the entire ring here. You know, some Goombas might be here, some Goombas might be here. And the uh, the initial the, the thing that you need to accomplish first is to line up your foes. And they give you like a certain time limit for that as you can see. You get 16 seconds. That's actually a lot of time for like a small fight like this. But you line them up. And then once you line them up, you're done with the ring, ring phase. Now you move into your battle phase or your action phase is what I'm guessing. And then you choose what method you would like to kill them in. That my guess is as to how the ring system is going to function and in my opinion if that's how it's going to be I'm all for it honestly like the fact the fact that we are getting back the crowd system in the background here is like it's a call to to the traditional Paper Mario thousand year door concept but instead of a stage type, we have this like, it, well, actually, technically, it still is a stage type. But instead of being like a theater setup, we're in the stages all the way in the front. We have it around a sort of like a coliseum kind of, you know, kind of setup, like a like a like a wrestling or UFC kind of kind of setup. And and I'm all good for that, you guys. Like honestly, I'm I'm fine with like with with this setup it, it honestly the fact that ju they just brought it back you know the crowd being there i'm i'm all good i'm all i'm all on board for this so yeah man i mean those are my thoughts like honestly like this 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 game is shaping up to look like it's going to be a callback to the original, you know, Paper Mario, honestly. And I get that people are like, are, are scared and, and like, and, and anxious about it because of, of Sticker Stars and Color Splash. But like, I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I mean, the signs are there that this is a, this, this could be a return to call. Like, honestly, we have, l l l like, hear me out, you guys. Like, we have... We have the the story. The story is already there. Like people were intrigued with this storyline, and I think majority of the community can like acknowledge that this story has potential, and they're digging it so far. The story is one, two. They're teasing partners and return to it. Honestly, like the the, the this screams partner return in my opinion. Like right here, unlikely allies. Allies. I don't know. It seems it could be the partner system or at least, like I said, a variation to it. So keep an open mind, you guys. But like the partner system potentially coming back, that's a throwback to the originals. And then you have the battle system, which looks entirely different from Sticker Stars and, uh, and Color Splash. Because there's no cards, there's no stickers. And you actually have a battle phase, like you, like where you, an action phase where you choose the weapons. You know what I mean? Like, you guys actually get to choose, like that, that like right here, the, the weapons, items, and then the plus icon with the gear. It's like, I don't know. It seems promising, man. These actually look like weapons you would have with you throughout the entire game, honestly. And if, if, if Nintendo's idea or like if the mechanic is actually like these are your two basic weapons but as you progress through the game you could like find better weapons and stronger weapons that you could use in battle like I'm all for it. I'm all for it. And I'm super hyped up about this. Now if you and also if you take a look here like I don't know what these three things are at the bottom here. Hint, cheer, flee. But could cheer be like possibly like appeal? Throwback to Thousand Year Door? Is, does it have the same mechanic? Does it have the same function? I don't know yet. We don't know yet. It's too soon to tell. But huh? that could be. That could be. Could be. You never know. So yeah, like I mentioned, like three things, man. The story, 
the potential return of the partner, and the battle system changing. Uh, it's almost similar, almost similar to the uh, originals. Or at least it's leaning towards the direction, towards the originals, rather rather it being another sticker star or, you know, color splash sort of battle mechanic. It's leaning towards more of the original with the twist, with the ring system, which is not a bad thing yet, you guys. It's not a bad thing yet. Like, you guys need to, you guys need to keep in mind, like, this game is not supposed to be a clone of the original Paper Mario or the Thousand Year Door. Like I mentioned in the previous video, it's it shouldn't be a clone. I don't think it's ever going to be a clone. But if they can take the good quality aspects of those two originals and improve on it and add new mechanics that people actually enjoy, then like I've mentioned in the previous video, like this game has the potential to be as good or even better than the originals Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. And honestly, like people people can have mixed feelings about this. Like, you know, there may be people who grew up with 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 Color Splash, right? They could they 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 they, they could grow up with with Color Splash and they could think that Color Splash is the original Paper Mario and it's the best Paper Mario they've ever played. And when they jump onto this Origami King, uh it's going to be completely different and then they're going they're going to grill the origami king people are going to have different opinions and then they're go there are going to be the hardcore like origami or like sorry the original fans who are who are fangirling and fanboying over like how this new one is shaping up to be like yes it's not going to be another sticker star or color splash game and they're going to be super hyped about it but yeah like i said a lot of the videos i've seen online are just like people concerned about the 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 origami king and 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 they're saying like oh it's not it's not it's not the same and i've lost hope for this franchise it's it's never going to go back to the way it does oh, the, the way it was rather and and like you guys come on like we, we need to be a little bit more positive about uh about uh, about the upcoming game you know like it's not supposed to be a clone to the thousand year door it's not supposed to be a clone to the original paper mario but just just keep that in mind it's not and it will not and it <laughs> and it shouldn't all right it's a new paper mario game now if they can incorporate like the old mechanics and add the new features to it that enhance the game then this game can per potentially like surpass those games like i'm predicting it i like here's here's my prediction for the origami king okay it's gonna be good it's gonna be a good one and i hope nintendo doesn't shit on all uh, uh, shit on anything i'm I, i'm saying and the reason why i'm trying to bring uh bring a positive like positive take on this is nothing is going to happen when people are, are are so negative about it you know if you the more we are negative about this game uh the more like it's bound to happen i guess it's the bad aura system that i can that i can feel you know if we're negative towards this game it might come out being shitty game so i'm just trying to keep like a positive aspect you know about the upcoming origami king and hopefully you guys share the same like enthusiasm as I do. Now I'm not saying that this game is going to be good. 100% guaranteed it's going to be good. I'm saying it has potential. And I'm giving a prediction that it is going to be good. And it's going to be a call to the original style of the Paper Mario series. And it's not going to be like Sticker Stars. It's not going to be like Color Splash. And it's not going to be like Super Paper Mario. I think it's an original, like, it's going to be a callback to the original. That's my prediction. But I'm not saying that it it's 100% going to be a callback to the originals, all right? So don't take my word and come back here like, you lied to us, you said it was going to be like... No, I'm giving a prediction of what I think that this game is going to be, all right? It's, uh... it's It looks promising from, from what I can see, and I'm super excited about it. But yeah, I just wanted this video to be like, of a different pace from the others you know i didn't want it to be too negative and i didn't want to shit on this game like 
too much. All right, there are definitely some 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 things that concern me about the game for sure. Um, but so far, with what Nintendo is giving us and what they are revealing so far, I'm digging it. Like there's no, there seems to be no stickers. There seems to be no uh, cards. Partners seem to be coming back. The world seems to be open. That's a very big point here. The world seems to be open. Rather rather it being just like a you know a series of levels that you hop into. So those are like those are like the, the those are like my thoughts and like why I think like this game, you know, I'm predicting that it's going to be coming back to how it was before. But like like I said, like this is not this is not by any mean like by any means like a 100% fact video right this is these are just my thoughts on how it's gonna be uh hopefully hopefully it does play out to be what i say it is and hopefully nintendo doesn't shit all over what i think this this game could be so what do you guys think of this new paper mario leave your thoughts in the comments below like do you guys think that this could be a callback you know to the original paper mario or do you think it's going to you know replicate sticker stars or or Super Paper Mario? Well, it's clearly it's not Super Paper Mario. Maybe Color Splash. So you think it's going to go back to the originals? Or stick to the... To whatever they've been doing. You know, the past two games. Yeah, leave your comments in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you guys have not already, subscribe and join the colony. Once again, you guys, take care. And we'll catch you in the next video.